Uh, my name's Stephen. Yeah. Um, I had half a dozen strokes about two and a half years ago. Um, I joined the Stroke Organisation about two years ago. And um, I have an interest in painting. Uh, so I, I took it up again after my strokes. And uh, now I teach other stroke survivors to paint. I do a, a fortnightly. Yes, uh, Steve. We do it uh, highly in sale. Yeah. Uh, once a fortnight, it's something we all look forward to. Uh, some people are going from here and they do it at home now. They took it up as a hobby. Not one person that started could ever believe they could draw or paint. Young people that can use one limb. I'm going to turn out some fantastic drawings and paintings. It's something that I look forward to. It's, it's given me a direction because I was just sat on in a tower block, 16 floors up, nothing to do. Um, bored, worried about the future, no plans, nothing, not, nothing whatsoever to do. And now I, I paint, I've just sold my first painting for £150. Uh, so I've got an income because I'm not getting any other sort of income. I'm not getting any money for disabilities or anything because of all the cuts and everything. So all I've got to look, to look forward to is to come here once a fortnight. It used to be once a week, but with cuts, it's gone to once a fortnight. Me up my friends, we chat, we talk about our fears, our hopes, our home lives, our family. Um, we cover an whole spectrum of things. And it's very, I meet some very interesting people because the stroke survivors are from all sorts of, all, all walks of life. Um, I've learned so much and it's made me feel so happy. Um, like I said, I didn't pick up a paintbrush for 15 years until I had my strokes and I paint constantly now from 5 o'clock in the morning till midnight. And um, I enjoy it very much. I haven't been for the Stroke Association urging me on and urging me to teach my abilities to other people, which I didn't want to do at first, because I'd just given up hope. I was just quite prepared to curl up and die in a 16 story flat, which I would have done eventually. And um, they've encouraged, encouraged me to do an awful lot of things, gym, swim, taught me in healthcare, um, diet. Um, but the most important thing is to get out and meet people of the same ilk as myself. Um, it's brought me out of myself, it's given me a direction of what I want to do in the future and it's got, got, given a lot of people hope. It's shown them that they've got other abilities that they can do since they've had a stroke. Because you've got your architects, you've got your, your labourers, you've got your, your plumbers, your joiners. And they can't do these things anymore but they've all realised that they can do, they can draw and they can paint and it's, it's, it's opened up their lives. Mm. And um, the taking on paints to give to the grandchildren, the nephews, the nieces, the wives, and they just can't wait to get back here again after another fortnight to knock another painting up. It's just I can't uh, I can't really put it all into words. Well, what it's done you, for me. You, uh, is it just the stroke survivors do paint, or, what, or do the carers do they join in as well? The carers help out because I can't do it all for myself. No, they help set it all up. They help with the tea, the biscuits. They're yeah, running about getting paints, washing bushes out, washing pallets out, or, or starting new canvases. Uh, I couldn't do it without, without the, the carers and helpers, I really couldn't do it, you know. Um, it's fantastic that the, uh, the help and support we get here. And it's a lovely, cosy, comfortable atmosphere. Um, it's central to everybody. Um, I'd be lost without this. I'd just be stuck up in a 16th floor flat again, nowhere, nowhere to go. Nothing to do, you know, I'd uh, to lose all interest in life again, which I did do at one point. Over to Ali, Ali, I need help her, but she's been fantastic today, I hope. You really do show up, she's going back, thank you very much. Um, and I'm, um, I'm Ali, and um, I've just started uh, volunteering, so I can't really say as much about what goes on, which is what, what Steve has been saying, but... Um, Basically, uh, I've just graduated as a speech and language therapist, so um, I've come to, I've been to one session on the Tuesday, which is a communication group, 
and then this group today. And um, basically, um, I wanted to join the Stroke Association to help because um, on my course I've seen a lot of people who have had strokes or other communication difficulties and um, they found it quite difficult to, you know, to talk and things. And it's been really interesting for me to see um, from the hospital what help they get and um, it, would, it would scare me to think that they didn't have any help further from coming out of the hospital and, like, with their communication, especially because that's what I'm, I specialise in. But I think we all take communication for granted and things and, and we, we never think how difficult it would be if we didn't have our communication. But, and this group has been amazing. It's, it's helped people change how they communicate. What would happen if this group Stop. It stopped. I, I definitely think that when people come to the groups, they we keep helping them communicate in different ways. So it might be with pictures or gesturing or drawing, and we can help them and encourage them to keep doing that. And it's just just helping them get around communicating. So obviously that would stop. It would stop and yeah. Do you think that the the people could learn that sort of thing themselves at home? Not as much, no. You really do need support and, and, and like I said, the most important thing is the encouragement to do it and, and all of that type of thing. And when, when we come, we suggest ways in which they, they can and, and communicate in a different way, but we understand as well and we, un we can understand how they feel and, and try and find the best way for them to communicate. So, yeah. So that's, that's the important thing, is yeah. understanding the stroke survivor and the carer. And, yeah.